world of colors. Today we're going to be making pop can gnomes. They're easy and fun and we're going to use things from around the house. You don't have to have a craft room or a studio to make these. They're, they're things that, that you probably will have right around your house. So well, I'll be back in a moment and we'll get started. First thing we want to do is get a black large men's sock and put a pop can down inside it. And then we're gonna we're gonna tie it off. We're gonna cut it off. Give us about an inch stub on it, like that. And then we'll tie it off. And I'm and I use things that just I just thought that you'd have around your house, so you wouldn't have to run to the store again. So we've got that tied off, and that's how we're going to start our little gnome project. The rest of the sock, we're going to use every bit of it. We're going to use five inches of this ribbed area. We're going to use five inches for the arms. So we'll go about to there. And we'll cut that off of the arms. And then we'll cut it in half. And we're going to use those two pieces for the arms. And then we're going to use this piece for his feet. So I'll cut that up when we get ready to do the feet. Now I've got my glue gun ready here. We're going to get these arms glued. You want to turn them so we have the right sides facing us. And just Now we're, we're going to do that arm, and then I'm going to do the other arm, and I'm going to let them set up for What we want to do is turn the sock inside out, right side out. Well, we've got the little sleeve here. You take a cotton ball. We just want to give it a little bit of... Uh, cotton inside the arm Somewhere at the cuff, this will be where we put the hands. So then I'll put a rubber band around the top part that we're going to glue onto the body. Just like that. I've got the other arm made right here. And the next thing we need to do is to make the nose and the hands. Now I just used an old shirt that was stained and couldn't go through another person. It was uh, ready to go be thrown out, but I managed to get some, some pieces, uh, six by six pieces off of it uh, that were in good shape to do the nose and the hands on these little pop can gnomes. You can also, if you don't have a garment like that that you're about to get rid of and you can use, you can also use paper towels. Paper towels are pretty strong these days. And you can use a paper towel 
and make yourself nose and hands like that. So keep that in mind as well. Um, so we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put four cotton balls in this six by six square to make the nose. And then we're just gonna push them up like that. Get our rubber band. Like that, push it, make it round, and then just cut that off. For the nose. And then for the hands, we want to do the same thing, only just use three of your cotton balls for the hands. So I'm going to do that with the hands and I'll be right back with Next you. Next thing we want to do is glue on the nose. Screw it right here onto the stub and we'll let that set up. So I've got the hand in this sleeve. I've got the nose on here and we're going to put the other hand in the other sleeve. You want to get some glue on it. And get that right inside the sleeve here. Give it a little bit more glue right here. And then I'm going to put the seam side down and glue it on the back of the stub, right behind the nose. Got to get some more glue. Glue it right there. And I'll glue the other one on and give them a couple minutes. The next thing that we're going to do is the beard. And is what you want to do is take your cotton balls and just lay them out the shape of a beard. Make the shape of a beard here. A little bit longer than that. This is like the bottom layer that we're doing right now. This is what we wanna do, got that like that, is take some other cotton balls and make yourself some pieces for the second layer. Then you want to take your glue and put it all over the first layer. Try to get a little glue on each piece. Like that. And then just take these pieces and cover up the glue. And 
and I will let that set up. So what you want to do with your beard is to take it and cut it a little slit down here. So this part will go around the nose and then we'll just fit it up underneath the nose gently like that. and glue it to the sides of the stub up here. I'm gonna add a few more pieces of cotton right underneath the nose here. I can see the black. So I will put a piece of cotton right there. And we're good on the rest of it because the arms are going to come to the front and cover up the rest of the beard. So that's about how good we need the beard to be. So the next thing we're, we're, we want to do is go ahead and make the hat. We'll set this back here so I can set up some more. And we want to get out our paper plate. I'm using a, a full paper plate here. But actually, we only need half of it for our hat. So what I did was I took the paper plate and I punched a hole right in the middle like that. And then I just cut it right in half. Then I just need two of these. I need one for a pattern for the, well, the tissue paper to cover it up. And I need one to make the hat. So we'll just keep those right over here. Right over here. And what you want to do is to take it and turn it like this, we're making the hat. Turn it like that. And you'll get to this point where it looks about like that. We've got a little bit sticking out. We wanna cut that off. Like that, and then glue this on. Glue this together. And if it's a little bit coming out, that's fine because it's going to be covered up. So give me a minute to let that set up. I've got the hat set up like this. And so what we want to do to cover it up is to take the half plate that I said that we needed for the pattern and just trace around it lightly. To get the shape that we need to cover the hat. So we're gonna cut this out and I'll be right back with you. So I've got my piece of tissue paper cut out and what I wanna do is glue it right to the front, the middle, right to the front of the hat. So we'll get some glue on there, like that. And glue it right to the front like that. And just go around and keep gluing it. And 
until you have the whole hat covered. And I'll be right back with I'm you. I'm getting ready to put a cotton ball, pom-pom type of thing with a cotton ball on the top of the hat. I pulled it apart a lot because I need it to cover up this cardboard up here that I ended up with. So I'm going to put some glue on there. And put it down like that. There we go. Now what we want to do next is to take the cotton balls and work our way around a trim around the bottom of the hat. So we just want, if you can see on this one, how the trim goes all the way around the back of his hat. That's what we're going to do next. So you just want to keep pulling those cotton balls apart and gluing them onto the bottom here all the way around and I'll be right back with you. So I've got the hat done this far. Really cute little gnome hat. I thought of an idea to do with just if you just wanted to leave it at this point and decorate it. I thought it'd be they'd be really cute little gnome place markers if you did them like that. That's a cute idea for you. But anyways, what we're going to do next is we're going to take whatever ribbon we have on hand, whatever ribbon you have on hand. I have, have these this cute little gnome ribbon that I've been using to wrap my presents. Let's see. Real cute. And I'm going to cut some gnomes out of it. And I'm going to cut the words gnome for the holidays. And just round those shapes off. And I'm just going to decorate the top of this hat. So you can use what you have and decorate yours. And I'll be right back with you. Got the little hat finished. And we've got the body and the beard. I've got the candy cane over here. I've got that little piece of sock that we had left and we're going to make that into the little shoes. So what we want to do is go ahead and cut it. Cut a little bit off of that, maybe almost in half because we don't need it that big. And then cut that in half like that. And then we'll just round it out. Like that. does make a mess when you cut the sock. Now what you want to do is glue the right sides together. Hold that down with some scissors. It wants to curl up. Put some glue on here. Like that. We're going to do that to both the shoes and let them set up and I'll be right back with you. I've got the boots set up and I put a cotton ball in this one and I'm going to open this one up. Put a cotton ball inside it. And then what you want to do is cut a curve in there how it's going to be glued to the body like that. 
see that. Like that. And let's get the body over here. What we're going to do is just put some glue on the top of this foot, the shoe, like that. And then just put it right where it would go, right on this body like that. We'll trim those up. When we're done, so we get that on there good. That one's on there good, and now we'll do this one. Now let those set up we want to do is put a little bit of this blush on the nose and hands that and then we're going to go ahead and put the hat on hat turned out so cute and we're just going to put some glue on the top of the nose and put it right down on there And after that sets up, I'll glue it in the back. So this is how far we've got him so far. I trimmed around his little shoe boots down here a little bit. And I sprayed it with some hairspray to keep it from being too uh, raggy looking. We want to straighten it up a little bit. So what we want to do now is bring the hands in and glue them in place. Bring it right over the top of the beard and glue it in place like that. And we're going to do the same thing with this one. And I'll be right back with you. We're all finished now. I went ahead and put the candy cane on. And I appreciate you coming and spending this time with us to make the pop can gnomes. And I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you leave us a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe. And I want to wish all of you a Merry Christmas.